Hey guys, this is part of my Learn Guitar series. This is lesson one. So, how I approach teaching guitar is from a classical standpoint. Now, those techniques and that foundation is applicable to any genre or style. And I will also be teaching other styles besides just classical music. Um, I will be talking about country and rock and punk rock and all different kinds of things. Um, but I like to teach classical foundations because it really helps your technique a lot. Before I played classical guitar, I played rock guitar, specifically punk rock, and I played for many years, but, and I couldn't read music or anything like that. And then when I started to play classical music, it changed my whole view on the guitar. And so now any foundations that I work on, any technique that I work on, I approach it through a classical foundation and then apply it um, to lots of different styles. Because I don't just play uh, classical music, even though I do love playing that. So I'm going to teach it the same way. I'm going to teach those types of foundations. And then I will show you all different kinds of repertoire from all different kinds of genres that we can play and use our foundations in classical music. So the first thing before we can start playing the guitar is we have to have a good position, a good playing position. So I'm in a seated position. So if you want to sit as well, make sure that your guitar is roughly at a 45 degree angle with the neck. So make sure it's roughly in this angle. Now, if you're standing, you can attach a strap. Um, you might have a strap point here and on the bottom of the guitar here. Um, sometimes acoustic guitars don't have it here, so you might have to use the tie of the strap right here. Either way, use your strap. If it's electric guitar too, same position. You can use your strap. Make sure that the neck is pointed in this direction. Um, you can also have the, like if you're playing an electric guitar, you can have it on the other leg as well, but still make sure that you maintain this angle on the neck. And so the reason that we do that is because we need to be able to get to all of the frets. These metal bars are called frets. You can see them here. Each metal bar is a fret on your fretboard or fingerboard. And if you're seated in a way that you have a good angle, you'll be able to reach pretty much everything comfortably. Now, if you're down here, your shoulder is going to be way down, slouched down, and you're going to have a hard time reaching different chords, and you might actually end up with some tension in your shoulder. And we don't want that. So we want to make sure that we have a good neck position. It's very important. So if you're using a strap, just make sure it's sitting like so. Um, electric guitar, acoustic guitar, doesn't matter. It's still a guitar. Um, another thing is I do use this contraption. This is called an ergo play and it raises it up for me. There are also other things that you can use. There's a footstool that raises your leg up. There is uh, one that attaches on the bottom and rests on the other leg. I can go, have another video go over the different types of um, tools that you can use to get a correct position. Or just use your strap. Also, make sure you're sitting up nice and straight. Make sure you're not slouching like this, leaning forward to the side, this side. Make sure you're just relaxed, but good posture. And that will help your back muscles and shoulder muscles and everything else. So it's just good um, to always be sitting with good posture. So that's what I want you to work on for the next week, is work on your posture. Make sure you have a good angle. And um, we'll talk about the various parts of the guitar. To today too. So we have the top, we have the back, we have the sides, we have the fretboard or fingerboard, we have the frets, you can count them if you like. We have the tuning machines which the guitar strings go into the tuning machines and that's how you tune it. Uh, we'll make a video doing tuning as well. And then down here, you have your bridge, your sound hole, 
And then this is called a nut. And that's pretty much all the uh, aspects of the guitar. It has six strings. Each string is a different letter name from the alphabet. So the first one is E, next one is A, then D, then G, then B, then E. You can remember this two different ways. So when I have younger students, I teach elephants and donkeys get big ears. And then for older people, I say Eddie ate dynamite goodbye. Or sorry, good by Eddie. So E A D G B E. All right. So that's your first lesson. Focus over the next week, even if it's just a couple minutes a day. It doesn't even have to be anything crazy. Just a few minutes every day. Just sit with your guitar or stand using your strap, or sit using your strap, or if you have one of these various tools. And make sure you're in a good seated position. Neck is angled upwards, roughly 45 degree angle. And start to memorize the names of your strings. E or sixth string. A or fifth string. D or fourth string. G or third string. B or second string. And then high E or first string. All right, I'll see you in the next lesson.